All right, everybody, I just wanted to shoot a quick video to explain to you uh, the stock GM LS rocker, Trunion upgrade. If you look, this is what the stock rocker looks like right here. It's just like that. That is off of a L76, which has LS3 heads, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, this is what the stock Trunion looks like. As you see, it has these needle bearings all the way around it, which sit inside these caps. These caps are pressed into the end of every rocker, just like so, just like that. And what happens is when you start adding a lot of lift, a lot of duration to an LS engine, it puts more and more stress on the rocker. When you put more and more stress on the rocker, what tends to happen is this bushing, this cap, whatever you want to call it, starts walking out of the rocker. When it walks far enough out of that rocker, these needle bearings just start falling off. It'll start falling off right down into the engine, down into the oil pan, getting all in your valve springs, sucking up into the pickup tube, into the oil pump, and just causing havoc, reeking havoc, absolute havoc. Well, what happens is, you go and you purchase one of these kits here, and if I'm not going to take it out because I'm not going to install them yet, I'm going to take them all the way apart. If you look, it has these grooves right here on the end. Those grooves go through the... Well, the trunion itself goes through the rocker, and on those grooves, it has C-clips on each end of it, and it prevents it from walking. So this is a Summit Racing Kit. As far as I know, it's about as close as you can get to the BTR kit. And BTR kit, besides the, I forget the name of the three four hundred dollars trunion kit, but besides uh, that three four hundred dollars kit, the BTR kit's the way to go. It's the best one out there, but they didn't have them in stock. If you look, this one is, uh, it's got the bearings in it just like a stock one. Very close to the stock one, very similar. But the trunion is the biggest difference. Having those C-clips in there makes it to where you can uh, run the high lift cams, run the high duration cams, spin it past 7,000 with the, with the stock rocker, and have no issues whatsoever. A huge advantage to having these stock rockers is they're, they're strong, they're light. I mean, they weigh nothing. They're, at, they're so light. That's the biggest advantage to running them, but the biggest disadvantage is this right here, and that's why you do the tuning upgrade on these LSs. Have a good one, guys.